Hey YouTube Naturals! This is going to be a quick video about the day after, sorry, the morning after the um, protective styling, the video that was just on. And I am unwrapping all of this from my hair. So you can see it's been plaited and actually this looks pretty great and stretched. I think the castor oil really does wonders for hair. Um, I am going to just do a quick updo. You know how you have wash and goes? I call these pin and goes because that's what I do. I just start randomly pinning pieces of hair um, until I get all up there. And then however it ends up when I get to work, that's pretty much how it's going to be. So I got my wide tooth comb and I'm just going to comb once through these once I implant them. Usually I will use some of this and pour on my fingertips. Um, and just to have something on my hands, but because I did the whole castor oil um, in my scalp and hair last night, my hair really doesn't need um, anything this morning. Plus, of course, as usual, I'm in a hurry because <laughs> I'm running late because sleep is really good under those wonderful warm covers. And so I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible with as much thorough information as possible. So this is always the worst part is taking out the plaits but um, I try to make them as big as I can while still being able to get all my hair plaited properly you know like evenly where there's nothing sticking out or anything so that I don't run into the problem of having five million plaits um, in the morning to have to deal with. So It is Wednesday morning, and I am just, every evening, I'm doing this protective, kind of stretching my hair, because on Friday evening, I'm going to attempt at a um, kind of chunky twist, bigger twist, than, um, for a Saturday morning twist out for a program that I have Saturday morning. So I just want to see how the stretching works. Plus, in the winter or fall, well, it's fall, when it's cold outside, this is a great way to protect your hair because I'm, I'm just not feeling that whole wetting my hair every morning to create a style or even spray, spraying it with water. Because I, first of all, I want to catch cold. Everybody in my office is always sick. These are the most unhealthy people I've ever worked with. And they're really awesome people, but when they get sick, they don't believe in like, you know, staying home or staying in your office with your tissues and your blanket and doing your work in your office until the end of the day. They're like out all over, spreading germs. Good Lord, last year was so horrible for me because I caught the flu from someone who did that. Came and she was just all over the copier, all over the front desk, everywhere. And um, she spread it. And my immune system is probably not as great as it could be. But, yeah, I was in bed for almost two weeks. Missed the Christmas party, the door decorating contest, for which I was a big part. And I will never forget that because <laughs> it was so unnecessary. If she would have just, we've got, we work in the university system. We've got sick leave. Jesus God, use it. And stop infecting everybody else with your sickness. You are not so important that if you miss a couple of days to get better, the whole university is going to stop. And that's what I have to continue to tell people. You may have an important position, but you are not that important. Plus, your health is so much more important than anything else. Why would you want to risk that? All right, I have no idea what I'm going to do today. So, um... I would love to be able to get all of my hair in one piece, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm going to do two. I'm going to divide it here. I always leave the front out because I like to, um, I like the little poof or pompadour, is that what you call it, whatever you call it. So I am going to try something today in five minutes. <laughs> Good luck to me. Yeah, I'm combing through my hair because it's been detangled and it's okay. I'm not gonna 
I don't think I'm going to do too, too much damage to it. And I think this will help stretch it out even more. And let's not do it so hard that I give myself a headache today. That would be so unpleasant. Generally, if the camera's not on, I am talking to myself, so... <laughs> Good that you guys are here to keep me company. My dog's not looking at me like, seriously, are you going to talk to yourself again this morning? Or I'm talking to her and she's, she really is looking at me like, I don't know what you're saying. Okay. I'm going to use one of these little things right here. And see what I can do with that. that's wrapped around. You can see the side. There's my little ponytail. Okay, now I'm going to take the bottom part of the hair and I'm going to smooth it a little more. I'm not one of those, I don't put really gel on my edges or anything like that. For heaven's sakes, guys, we have natural hair and it's really good when your hair looks has that finished smooth look, but I hate to see people slathering all of this unhealthy gel on the edges of their hair because it's not smooth like this. Uh, really, you have natural hair. It's not going to ever be perfect. So just let the beauty of your natural hair show through. It's natural. And I'm not saying walk or, walking around with um, pellets sticking out of the bottom of your head. So my mom used to call them kitchen pellets. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, and I will make myself laugh. And I will laugh at myself. And I don't care. I'm trying to loose some of these um, things. They're all tangled in there. I should probably do something with that. Okay, and I'm going to band that. Can I do it one more time? You shall sure can. Okay. Okay, so you see the side. It's looking like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I don't know. I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to kind of pin at random spots. So I'm going to try my best to show you what I'm doing. I'm just grabbing hair and pinning it. I'm going for the bun look, so bear with me. What I love about Wow. What I love about pin and goes is that pretty much an updo is going to be an updo. So people are going to know, okay, she was going for an updo. And I think that almost just about any way that you do it, it's going to look kind of classic or classy. And I always carry extra pins in my purse so that if I get to work, and I go to the bathroom, and for some reason, things look different in my bathroom, off in my office. What am I trying to say? Things look different in the bathroom in my office than they do here in my bathroom. I don't know why that is. So sometimes I have to fix things in, in my bathroom. It's also morning, and I haven't had my coffee yet, so things might not come out the way they should. I have no idea what I'm saying half the time. And my hair isn't yet long enough for those really great, great buns. And I've searched for like, you know, updos on YouTube and there are plenty, but not really any for the length of hair that I have. So it's a little difficult to determine what's best for my hair. I'm not sure if I hit a winner today, but we'll see. Like I said, it's a pin and go. <laughs> I'm going to brand that term. It's mine. Okay. Hold on. Let me see what I have going on here. I would like to not see that part, but you know what? Whatever. It's fine. I am sorry, this might be a fail. 
but I just actually wanted to show you how my hair looks once I take it out in the morning of the protective style that I have it in and then you can see what I do with it to kind of just maintain the stretch. It's a good thing I don't have any meetings today. <laughs> okay, so now the front. And basically all I'm going to do, the front is such a different texture than the rest of my hair. I have no idea what goes on there. I am going to twist it like this. Uh, and kind of pin it some kind of way. Like that. <laughs> there, that works. And I'll watch this later and decide if it's even worth keeping. I don't want videos to be a total waste of you guys' time. I hate that. When I sit and watch a video and then at the end I'm like, well, what was that about? And usually I, that doesn't happen to me. It's happened maybe twice. I'll really, I'll watch a video and... I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I'm sorry, I was looking back there because it looks like my shower curtain from here is crooked and I have no idea how that would have happened. Alright, that's enough pins. And I may fix it, like I said, when I get to work. Or what I like to do to disguise a lot of things is these are, this is one of my creations. It is a flower made completely of a zipper. Yeah, yes I did. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it here in the side um, where the part, well, let me see where the part is biggest or where it's more obvious. It's more obvious on this side. So I'm going to stick this in here, just kind of in the back. And then it'll kind of you know pretty it up a little bit and hide some of that I don't like that there hold on I'm sorry guys this might be an immense fail I don't I'm not usually this scattered I think I might prefer it there I do prefer it there much better okay can you guys see that I'm sorry okay here's the little pompadour poof that I have in the front of my hair and the lighting's not so great in here and I'm just gonna turn and show you the side and then the back where I have stuck my little zipper flower and then more side <laughs> and I am going to grab a few bobby pins and put it in my little wallet and then I'm going to go make my coffee and I'm going to go to work. Thanks for watching and listening to my endless babble. And just experiment with your hair. You never know how it's going to turn out. Some days it's good, some days it's bad. Um, when I'm going somewhere for like a special event or something, I tend to try to plan out the day before because things like this would frustrate me if I was going somewhere important. Not saying work is not important, but I sit at a desk all day long in an office working on paperwork. So it's not so bad that a lot of people are going to see me and be like, oh, what should you do to her hair? You know, but I'll walk in and somebody is going to say, girl, your hair looks so good today. And I'm going to be like, you got to be kidding me. Are you blind? So, um, I'm just trying to make this pin less visible. So yeah, just... Like I said, the pin and go is great, and um, it didn't take five minutes. It took probably more like ten, but usually it doesn't take as long. It's just because I'm recording. So anyway, thanks, you guys. Have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.